All right, Matt, our next fight on the card is a really interesting fight at 170 pounds between the former Bellator welterweight champion. Yes, you heard that right. Lyman Cyborg Good taking on Bilal. Remember the name Muhammad. And Matt, this is one of my favorite fights on the card because Lyman Good always puts on a show, win or lose. And Bilal Muhammad is a wily vet. And I say that a lot, but he's a crafty type of fighter because while the striking might not be to the same level of Lyman Good, and we'll get into technique a little bit later on, it's his ground game and his takedown ability that's really his bread and butter, and I think it can set him up well in this fight. Now, Lyman Good certainly had the tougher strength of schedule, and I can go back to those Bellator days because both of these guys, if you actually look on Tapology, their pictures are from their Bellator days. Lyman Good had 11 fights with the promotion, fought the likes of Ben Askren in his lone attempt at a title defense, which he, of course, lost. And then he fought Andre Korshkov as well. Some decent wins peppered in there. For Bilal Muhammad, he only had two fights there. They were spread apart. He comes into the UFC, and he's fought some tough competition in his own right. His only loss, of course, to the hands of steel, Jeff Neal. That's going to be a trend for a lot of people. Luke in the UFC, as well. I think. Luke. Vincente Luque as well. So two of them, total body of work, 16-3 and three coming into this one. Lime Good sitting at 21-5. and five. And if we look into his last five fights, the two losses to Zaleski Dos Santos and Demian Maia, of course, he got submitted in that one. And a big win in his last fight in a former common opponent in Chance Ren Counter. What do you make of this fight? Does Chance Ren Counter play much of a part into this one? And what do you see moving forward out of these two guys? So I do think that this is a really fun fight, but the problem is it doesn't really make for a fight of the night. It's very much, it's going to be really one-sided. We just don't really know who for, because let's say Lyman Good's able to, you know, stop at least two takedowns from Bilal Muhammad, then he's probably going to light him up on the feet for the rest of the fight. The problem is Bilal Muhammad needs one takedown, and he's going to drain all that energy from Lyman Good. Because you've seen Lyman Good kind of get tired over a fight now. In the Ren Counter fight, his cardio didn't fade, but it was more just because he got to fight at his own pace the whole entire fight. And it wasn't like Ren Counter was throwing much back at him. It was just kind of a one-sided beating for as long as it lasted. Whereas with Bilal Muhammad, he's always going to be in your face. He's a cardio machine, and his wrestling is phenomenal. And Lima Good, I know you're going to bring up the stat. His takedown defense might look good, but if you actually watch him fight, his takedown defense isn't all that great, and his defensive grappling's not good either. If Elizio Zaleski de Santo is able to take you down and control you on the ground, Bilal Muhammad's going to be able to do it quite easily, I would assume. And Lima Good, now I know that Zaleski de Santos was very much stand-up affair. It was a very good fight, one of the better fights of the year. But I just think Bilal Muhammad's going to be able to use his striking just enough to then take the fight to the ground and really dominate once he does take it down to the mat. Yeah, I mean, if you want to look into it, actually, Lyman Good has a better stat in terms of takedown offense at 100%. It means absolutely nothing. If you're somebody out there that reads these stats, you have to really look into them because a lot of the time they mean absolutely nothing. Lyman Good is a powerful striker. His takedown defense isn't terrible, but he's the type of guy that at 35 years old, he's so heavily muscled up at 170 pounds that, A, you can be 21 years old and look like a Greek god like Sage North cut and your energy bar can get depleted easily. But once you get up to 35 and you're taking on a cardio machine, a guy that will train and fight during Ramadan, wow. it, it's insane in Bilal Muhammad. You always have to worry about the fact that he can grind you out. And that chance rank counter fight, I'm going to keep bringing it up because it's really important. Yeah. It's very important because for Bilal Muhammad, no, it's he, not was, he was able to drain that power bar of chance rank counter he was draining and draining and draining it was the Bala muhammad blueprint for lyman good he was able to go out there and starch him so what do you get in this fight you're going to get one of two things we keep bringing it up but it's the truth that's what you're probably going to get in this fight now what do the fans think over on tapology they agree with you i'm assuming that's where you're going with it out of 800 votes 71 percent going with muhammad the majority going with the decision win and I think that's exactly what's going to happen because Bilal Muhammad is competent enough on the feet. He's fought enough strikers in the past. He's probably not going to get caught with anything wild from Lyman Good. And I can eat my words and I'm fine with that. I've been doing this for a while, but I think that's the way it's going to go. I think Bilal Muhammad's going to be able to grind out a decision. He's going to be able to work the takedowns. None of those Lyman Good stats matter. The only thing that matters is he's an older guy at 170 that probably is going to get taken down. Oh, no, I agree 100%. Fun fact, Bilal Muhammad has a law degree, oddly enough. He's just really good at fighting, too. So, um, yeah, fun fact for Bilal Muhammad. I think he's going to be able to get it done. Though. He just kind of, his style plays into a lot of the weaknesses on Lyman Good. And I think that's really going to show this Saturday. Well, Matt, really looking forward to it. It's a great card headline by none other than Curtis Razorblades taking on Drago, Alexander Volkov. You're not going to want to miss an extended look at that, along with the rest of the card. Make sure you keep it locked in with Fight Name Picks, Matt. And as we always say, let's, let's get, get into it. it.